These two beakers contain a mixture of iron ions and a blue dye called thionin. Watch what happens when we shine light through the beaker on the right. It looks to me like the thionin dye is fading. What do you think? And when I turn the light off, the blue color grows back in. This process can be repeated many times. The thionin fades when the light's turned on and returns when the light's turned off. These color changes occur because of the chemical reaction between thionin dye and iron ions. In the presence of light, blue thionin dye reacts with iron two ions to form leucothionin dye, which is colorless. Iron three ions are also formed. When the light is turned off, the reaction proceeds in the reverse direction. Leucothionin reacts with iron three ions to form iron two ions and the blue colored thionin. I wondered if I could tell what color of light was responsible for causing this chemical reaction. To test this, I set up four vials containing thionin and iron ions. I set each vial on top of a filter that allowed only a certain color of light to pass through it. Check out what happened when I turned the light on. I don't know about you, but it looks to me like the blue color is fading the most in the vial that has the yellow light shining through it. This result makes a lot of sense if we look at the absorption spectrum of thionin. The absorption spectrum of thionin tells us what colors of light thionin absorbs the best. Notice that the peak of this spectrum matches up with yellow light. This tells us that thionin absorbs yellow light quite well. So in this chemical reaction, it's very likely the case that thionin dyes absorbing yellow light to gain the energy it needs to react with the iron ions to form the colorless leucothionin. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the reaction that occurs between thionin dye and iron ions, a chemical reaction that's powered by yellow light.